Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Duds. I'm Joey. I'm going to do a quick intro today and I want to get right to the video. I want to just briefly thank our sponsors on uh, PayPal and Patreon. Our financial supporters are uh, the ones who help us put the show together and get the plant based message out to the public. If you ever thought about being a sponsor, wondered how can I help, how can I be part of this, you can become a financial supporter. There's a link below this video on how to do that. We could surely use your help. I also want to do a quick mention of uh, the other two channels that I'm uh, trying to get going. Uh, Sophomore Swag, that's my teaching channel. I post over there of uh, all the things that are happening to me at school, uh, with the kids, the end of the year is coming, uh, just some of the letters they've written me, teacher appreciation stuff, just a lot of like stuff to do with my classroom. Uh, so check that out, Sophomore Swag. Uh, there's a link right there to uh, you know, to the channel. And uh, please go over there and subscribe and uh, like and uh, help us get that channel up and running. The other channel we're trying to get going is uh, April Matisse, the Mediterranean Maiden. That's April's channel, my sister. Uh, she has a video right now that is all about uh, sweet potato and corn tacos, and it is really good. Uh, she does a Mediterranean diet, but there's a lot of vegan food on her diet because uh, she does a low-fat, uh, vegetable-based diet. Um, it's not a vegan channel, but a lot of her food is vegan. It's really interesting, so check it out. Go over there, subscribe, uh, tell her I said hello and help support that channel if you can. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make our uh, Taco Bell copycat taco sauce. It's a copycat version of the mild taco sauce that Taco Bell has. It's all made from stuff you have in your pantry. It, it's really simple to make, and it goes great with our uh, cauliflower taco meat filling. So I'm gonna show you how to do all of that. And this is really nice because we don't have that cauliflower taco in a video by itself. It's either in like what I ate in a week of corn or like a meal prep video. So this would be a perfect way to, to have a, a video labeled with this thing so you can find it. These tacos are interesting because if you're doing the Mary's Mini, these tacos work in the Mary's Mini. The corn in the taco, and Tim's making the corn tacos himself, the corn in the taco is your starch. And everything else in the taco, all of it, the cauliflower meat, the lettuce, the tomato, the cilantro, all of that are your non-starch. So this is a really good Mary's mini dish and the taco sauce works right in line with that. All right, check out how we made this. You're absolutely gonna love it. If you haven't made this recipe before, this is definitely one you wanna make on the mini if you're doing a corn mini. Let's get to the food. For our taco sauce, we're starting with a non-stick pan with the heat off. Our first ingredient is eight ounces of canned tomato sauce. After that, it's about a third of a cup of water. I'm putting the water in the little tomato sauce container to get the rest of the sauce out. Then we've got one quarter teaspoon of chili powder, one and a half teaspoons of cumin, one and a half teaspoons of dried onions, one tablespoon of white vinegar, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, one half teaspoon of garlic salt, one quarter teaspoon of paprika, one quarter teaspoon of sugar, and one quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Next, I'm gonna turn the heat on to medium low and get my whisk and give this a little mixy mixy. Once it starts simmering, I'm gonna let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. I did put a cover on it because you know how uh, tomato sauce likes to spit back at you. After 20 minutes, all the flavors are combined and it's ready to go. Look how good this looks. That's gonna be great on my tacos. To store it, I just get a mason jar and then I get a mason jar funnel. Yep, that's a thing. And I'm gonna get all my taco sauce out down that funnel and into that mason jar. After that, I'll just toss the cap on it and you can see here, it's ready to go in the fridge. I, of course, I'm gonna use it on my tacos. This is how I make my cauliflower tacos. The cauliflower is the meat of the tacos because the corn shell is the actual starch. I'm gonna start with my pan and I'm gonna put in four cups of riced cauliflower. If you're using those bags from Costco, those little individual bags, and it's two of those bags. Next, I'm putting in one tablespoon of smoked paprika, and then one tablespoon of chili powder. After that, it's one half a tablespoon of garlic powder, and a half a tablespoon of onion powder. Then I'm throwing in one teaspoon of cumin, and a little bit of hot sauce. Now I'm just gonna grab my wooden spoon and start giving this a mixy mixy to kind of get all of the flavors combined. Once I have a pretty uniform color throughout, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of soy sauce. Now I'm gonna mix that around again until I get everything combined. After that, I'm gonna let this cook on low for about five to seven minutes. If you feel like you need to add some water to stop it from burning, then do that. But that frozen rice cauliflower should have plenty of water in it. Now it's time to start assembling my tacos. Here's my toppings for my tacos. Some lettuce, tomatoes, and cilantro. I've got this really cool little taco holder here and Tim made these fresh taco shells for me. So these are just corn, uh, flour, and water. They're right off the press. And I'm just gonna give a nice healthy tablespoonful of filling in each one of my tacos. Remember the taco shells are your starch. Everything in the filling is a non-starch. Now I'm gonna start topping it with some of that fresh cut lettuce that Tim made. I'll make sure to get plenty of that in there. And I'm gonna add some tomatoes on top 
because you can't have lettuce without tomato. And then we're sprinkling some of that cilantro on top of that. Now it's time to add the sauce we just made. And there you have it, an amazing plate of cauliflower tacos with our homemade copycat Taco Bell taco sauce. Doesn't that just look good? Holy smoke. All right, that's our video for today. Hit that like button, show us some love. Don't forget to subscribe, click on that bell. You get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Tuesday. And leave a comment below. Are you doing the Mary's Mini? A corn mini was my favorite. There's so much to eat and you can have tacos every night. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.